Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to insert data into our database from a CSV file. Alright, so I've copied some parts of the previous lecture here and just we are going to uh, move back to our PostSQL terminal. I'm going to zoom out so we are going to do some stuff in here. Uh, we are already connected to our database so we do not need to connect again. And we have taken a, look at, taken a look at our table as well as the columns from that table. Now, uh, I'm just going to do backslash D to just show you that we do have this table in here. So you have backslash DT to show all the tables and you can have backslash D just to list of relations where you have it here. One is, uh, I think both of them are, are doing basically the same thing. I'm not sure why I did it again. So how can we copy data from our CSV file into this database? Now we are going to do that within this uh, shell and I'm going to do it using one line, hopefully. So we are going to say copy. Now again, uh, I have inserted uh, that data into, into the drive C I've already shown you. Company sales, it is right here as well. So I'm going to use this one within drive C because this... Um, uh, the file directory or the file address is easier for SQL to digest in this way. I'm going to say from, uh, I'm going to say copy sales from, uh, let's pass in capital C. It is backslash, uh, capital C, backslash company sales.csv. Close that. We are going to add with delimiter, perfect, uh, comma, and then CSV also has header. So CSV header. Said enter, copied. It just copied with one line of code 4,976 <laughs> records. I'm a genius, aren't I? So I'm going to say backslash D sale. Let's take a look at it. So what this is going to do for you is you're just going to give you some more uh, info about the table that you're working with. So you're going to see that we have uh, the type uh, and then you have the nullable. Only the first one is not null. And these are all the columns that we have there. So we do have these within this. Okay. Perfect. So we have been able to insert those into our database. Now, from the Python application, what we are going to do is we are going to fetch them. So I'm going to say cursor dot execute. What is the command that we are going to write? So we're going to say select. We could fetch them there as well, but it's not going to be readable. Uh, sale, we're just going to limit, limit them um, to 10. And then we are going to say uh, print cursor dot fetch all. Perfect. Let's close the connection as well. Close. Save that. Let's run this file. And uh, let me grab that as well. So Python. I'm not sure if the environment is activated. So let's just double check. Pip env shell. Okay, it is already activated. Let's just pass that in here. It says sale. Why did I provide sales? It's sale, a singular. I'm used to plural. There we go. So we got 10 records from uh, that database and we are sure that the data has been inserted into our database. Now we are going to move on and we are going to talk about how you can insert uh, records into this database. So we did do that into our database from a CSV file. I'm just going to show you how you can do that through Python as well. So we are going to say cursor. We have already done this many times over. So we are going to say cursor uh, dot execute. And I'm going to say insert, insert into. Uh, what is the table? It is sale. You could pass in the columns or not. I'm not going to pass in. You know what? I am going to pass it, pass them in just to make sure there are no errors. So for that, I'm just going to copy paste them here. 
perfect these are all the columns they take a lot of time for me to write what are the values so uh, first we have the order number so I'm gonna say one one oh five nine one oh the order type is going to be retail because the order type is only um, uh, it could only be retail or wholesale so retail and then what is the customer name it is going to be evolutive learning perfect evolutive learning and then what is the product number uh, th this is the reason that it is a string product number is string we have python 999 perfect and right after that what is the product name i'm going to say complete uh, python boot camp perfect i shouldn't say perfect too much i'm going to try not to say it a lot uh how many how many of these let's say three so we got three of those and what is going to be the this uh, what is the next one so quantity three price let's set them to 19 bucks each and um, what is the discount well you could pr print and discount like 90 percent and then you could say like what is the order total for example it is 60. for now i'm just going to say the discount is zero and the order total is 57 is it 57 yeah perfect all right so let's commit the changes i'm going to say connection dot commit after that uh, now just to make sure that we have actually inserted something into our database i'm going to try to query them as well so i'm going to say cursor dot execute cursor dot execute and how can we insert this query so what do we want to grab from the database let's say we just want to grab the three uh, three columns so one is custom customer name and the other one is production name uh, sorry product name and the other one is order total and where do we want to grab them from sales table where now let's uh, provide a condition where the order order num is equal to 1105910 and that's it so so this is going to be our query how can we execute this now this query has already been executed so let's iterate over it so we are going to say rows is equal to uh, cursor dot fetch all cursor dot uh, fetch all and now we're going to say for row and rows uh, we can print a uh, customer name so I'm going to say customer name which is going to be equal to whatever whatever it is that we have selected so it is going to be row with the index of zero with the item which has an index of zero and then we are going to grab index one and index two as well so the other one i'm just going to pass it here as product name so product name and order total order total Let's save that so with this i think everything is in or order so let me run this app so let's clear that python there we go so the customer name is evolutive learning that this is the thing that we just added it uh, the item or the record and we are fetching it just to make sure that it has been added to the database product name complete python bootcamp and 57.0 we can do the same thing here so we can say select just select the customer name as well as the prod uh, product name uh from sale where where uh, order was it order num yeah order number order number is equal to one one oh five nine one oh semicolon and there we go so you can see that it's, it's got customer name 
and product name. Evolutive Learning, Complete Python. So we are sure that it is committed to the database. Otherwise, we are not going to return anything. Now, with this, our lecture comes to an end. So see you in the next one.